Hi everybody. So since Brandon Herrera is going to go ahead and do the recreation of the Trump assassination attempt, we're going to do the recreation of shooting Thomas Matthew Crooks here at 130 yards. Uh, we made him nice and soy and reduced target. And uh, this is another reason why you should eat your protein. Here's how the attack unfolded. President Trump was speaking from a stage located here. The suspected gunman was on the roof of another building less than 450 feet away from where Trump was speaking with a clear line of sight. All right, everyone. So all jokes aside, this is where we get the more serious parts here. In lieu of the events that took place, I have to commend everybody for keeping calm. Trying to hit reduced size targets because the enemy, oddly enough, is small. One minute and 32 seconds before shots are heard, we can see two Secret Service sniper teams moving into place on the roofs behind the former president. Making they them into one word. Okay, so we got the shooter. It took me a little bit. I missed all the left. My rifle is a sight. I didn't for this kind of ammunition. I didn't name my hold. To be fair, neither did Sir Dick fucking face here. Uh, oddly enough, though, I recreated almost what it did to Mr. Donald Trump, and then I got that fucking. Yep, what he had said. Well, he's definitely dead. Uh, I know this one's on mine. I'm pretty sure that one's on mine. I'm pretty sure I also recreated Donald Trump, but I was a millimeter closer than what he was to Trump, so. Regardless, he's fucking dead. Just like how he is in real life. Very piece of shit. Um, but yeah, we definitely got him. So 138 meters, not a problem, especially Dean Brown. <laughs> Uh, honestly, very, very impressed that he missed those shots, especially all five of the ones he took. Secret Service didn't miss, and neither did the security details from here with a mag, so. I was not thrilled with wind mag, not weather. What I said? Oh, yeah, wind mag, great wind mag. Alright, everyone, so, all jokes aside, this is where we get to more serious parts here. In lieu of the events that took place, I have to commend everybody for keeping calm. Like, nobody went out and looted any stores, burned anything. Y'all did pretty good keeping calm. That's, uh, that's something that we are, that's something that we should pay more attention to in uh, high stress events such as this, or even just in general. Take a step back, take a breath, think. Don't let yourself get led by emotions. Yeah, the second you let emotions take control, that's when you already lost everything. I mean, just look at the guy who tried to shoot Trump. That guy was not thinking at all. He just thought, I'm going to do what I've been being told to do. The media constantly calling Trump a dictator. So it's really impressive the fact that we just had all this political dis where you want to call it discourse, and we're getting closer and closer to civil unrest to the extreme tipping point. Uh, we were both really afraid that there was going to be a response to this, and we're very, very, very happy if there wasn't. Um, like, like Steph said, just keep it cool, guys. There's not a whole lot we can do other than that, because the second we stop obeying the law, and we stop doing all the shit that's keeping this country together, it's gone. It's gone, that quick. So, it's up to you guys to keep this together still. Another thing I want to add to is just get prepared, guys. It doesn't take a lot. You don't need a thousand rounds of ammunition or, or an AR or anything. If you have just an extra can of beans in your, in your cabinet, just build off of that. Because, in the end of the day, if things ever do pop off, nobody is coming to help you. And I mean, I mean that. It's time that we started taking care of ourselves. With what, just, with what Steph just said, uh, it, it might actually be a good idea to start making a bigger, better community around yourself. Because like you said, no one's going to come to help you, especially in this day and age where everybody's so isolated and focused into the internet. The internet's not fucking real. None of these people in the line are going to come help you. None of them are going to be with you. None of them are going to save you. It's, it's people you build bonds with in person. 
that are going to actually be there with you and for you if things actually do hit the fan. So keep that in mind. Let's start building better communities, stronger communities, because if things keep escalating like this, who knows where we're going to be in the next couple of months, especially if November only being a couple away. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is Jay at Bottom Line Tactical with uh, Steph. So see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. Two, one. Making a they, them into a was, were. I can't. Wow.